duck hunting on the famed Chesapeake Bay right here in Maryland. Hi, I'm Captain Jeff Coates of Pit Boss Waterfowl. This next hunt, I've got two very good friends of mine. Pat Vincini, a full-time decoy carver from Churchville, Maryland, and his grandson, Dylan Kelly. Sadly, this is the last time we put Kuda overboard. After this hunt, she's officially retired. But, some good memories and some good action. Let's check out this hunt. Coming up. Hunting duck on the wing with a twist. Exploring a vast urban oasis. And riding rails to pedal trails. Next. Outdoors Maryland is produced in cooperation with the Maryland Department of Natural Resources, DNR. Inspired by nature, guided by science. For Pat Vincenti, the sea duck hunt begins right here in his workshop outside Churchville, Maryland. Pat has been a duck hunter and decoy carver for 40 years. He's recently started carving and hunting sea ducks. So this is the head for the surf scoters that we're making. I believe there's more of a demand for sea duck decoys because I believe there's more people actually hunting sea ducks. I believe it's become more popular over the years. I gained a new respect for the sea ducks because they're a lot more intricate and colorful than what I thought. What we're doing is we're just taking the bulk of the stuff off. There are several different species of sea ducks in Maryland, and Pat carves them all. This is our surf scoter, very common on the bay. A lot of guys love to hunt these. This is our common eider. You don't see as many of them on the bay, but we do have a few. This is our long tail decoy, or what we refer to as our old school decoy. I've only been sea duck hunting a couple of times, and I've enjoyed it very much because it is a social event. On this trip, I'm taking my grandson Dylan with me. It'll be his second trip out sea duck hunting. Do you have all your stuff together? You have your gun, of course. You got your license? Yep. Life jacket? Yep. I take Dylan with me because I've seen how he's grown over the years and how much he loves the outdoors, and I enjoy spending time with him. He taught me how to shoot a deer and shoot ducks, what not to do and what to do. Pat and Dylan are heading to Taylor's Island on Maryland's eastern shore. They'll be ready to hunt first thing in the morning. Their sea duck hunting guide is Jeff Coates of Pit Boss Waterfowl. All right, decoys. I have the boat, I have the decoys, I have the dogs, and I guess most importantly, I have the experience. Jeff's clients come from all over the country and the world to sea duck hunt in Maryland. It's 4 a.m. I gotta get going before I do some duck hunt. Let's go, come on. There we go. You good to go? All right. Coot always rides shiny. We're going sea ducking. Sea duck hunting in Maryland is more popular than ever. The number of sea duck hunters here has jumped 50% in the last five years. And hunters bag an average of 8,000 sea ducks every year. The sea duck season is 107 days long, and the bag limit is five ducks per hunter. But that may change if the state determines that the popularity of sea duck hunting is taking too great a toll. Morning, Jeffrey. Hey, Pat, good morning. How are you, sir? Okay, how you doing? V, you ready to go? Got her, bud? Okay. D, you ready? Yeah. Go ahead and hand your gear up. All right, take your gun. Awesome. Jeff, as the guide, is in charge of everything. He's responsible for everything. Unlike regular duck hunting, sea duck hunting happens on the open water. Coot, she's ready to go. The sea ducks will be out all morning. The only trick is finding them. Don't be a little 
You're gonna feel that breeze in a second. Yeah. Just a beautiful day on a Chesapeake Bay. Sea ducks are offshore birds. They could be anywhere on the open water. They love the Chesapeake Bay estuary because this is all the food that they need throughout the winter. So basically they can rest here, spend the winter here, build a little bit of fat reserves so they can fly back up north, nest, and have more young. Right now we're going to head out just a little bit further here. Once we get the anchor line out, they all come out pretty easy. Decoys are an absolute must in sea duck hunting. You're on a, a large, large piece of water, and uh -oh. the birds need to see something, to key on something, to come closer to the boat. Like Pat, Jeff is an expert decoy carver. He made most of these decoys himself. Here's one of Pat's birds. That's a surf scoter drake. Go ahead, man. Jeff's going to try to position the boat now, and he's going to get us set up. When he gets us set up, we'll go ahead and get our guns out, huh? Barrel up in the air. That's it. There's some 12, 20 gauge for you. 20 gauge CZ. Safety on. Hold it up in the air. If they're coming this way into the wind, they'll be slower. Yeah. Okay. If they're, if they're coming this way, you're going to have to get out in front of them. Okay. It isn't long before the sea ducks come to the decoys. White wings, white wings. Watch them, D, as they come up. Get ready. And as soon as he turns left or right, that's about as close as he's going to be, all right? D, three old squall on the backside here. Going by. Get him, D. Get him, D. Get him. Take him. I'm going to get you a duck. You were just a little behind him, so you want to get out in front of him a little further, okay, the next time. It's not like shooting from a duck blind or a plateau or something like that with a solid floor. The boat is moving with the wave action. Nice line of scoters coming up. Behind them, Jeff. Behind them. <laughs> <laughs> Get him. Get him. Oh, a little bit behind, a little bit behind. <laughs> but the hunt isn't all shooting. A pound of crab meat in there. I think that's going to be good. Do you want you to take that one up? Not a matter of, of being able to shoot the gun or how many ducks you kill or anything like that. It's just being able to spend quality time together. You want me to pull this thing right here? I'll just hold on a minute. Pull that one out. D, two surf scoter drakes on the bow. Coming right up in. Get him, get him. Dylan gets his first hit, a male long-tailed duck. It's finally time for Coot to get to work. Drop. Drop. There you go. Nice drake, huh? He's got a real nice tail. That's what they named him after right there, the old squall long tail. Real nice. Good job, bud. I'm going to mount it and put it on the wall. He doesn't know it now, but that's going to be a memory forever. <laughs> well, we had the shot. Pat finally gets a young go. surf scoter, and Coot brings it back. So it's a young Drake. It's late morning now, and the ducks are becoming scarce. And about this time of the morning, the birds always kind of calm down. You know, kind of settle down. They're settled in for the day, and I think I think we can call it a morning. We're going to go ahead and pick up the decoys now. We've had an excellent morning. I've had an excellent day. Pull, pull towards you. There you go. Who shot that? That must have been you. Yeah, I enjoyed the entire trip very much. It was a day for us to get away together, Dylan and I. And we just had a fantastic time. When Dylan is older, the sea duck season in Maryland will probably be shorter the bag limit may well be reduced. But Pat hopes Dylan will remember this winter morning on the Chesapeake Bay and carry on the tradition of sea duck hunting in Maryland.
drop into our website to send us your comments and suggestions. And now, you can also find us on Facebook. Learn more about Maryland's diverse natural beauty on our website and in our magazine. DNR, inspired by nature, guided by science. Outdoors Maryland is made by MPT to serve all of our diverse communities and is made possible by the generous support of our members. Thank you.